Saint Cargitan the Hunter of Souls. Cargitan was born to pious and noble parents who dedicated him as an infant to the Blessed Virgin Mary. While still alive, he was called the Saint and the Hunter of Souls. A distinguished lawyer, he was offered positions in the government but chose to seek a religious vocation and obscurity in Rome. When discovered, he was forced at age 28 to accept a position at the court of Pope Julius II. He was later ordained a priest at age 36. Please like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you and God bless you. After the death of Pope Julius, Cargitan returned to his hometown, Vicenza, to join the confraternity of St. Jerome, whose members were mostly drawn from the lowest and poorest classes. This action disgusted his relatives. Cargitan went on to spend his fortune caring for the poor. He built hospitals for them and nursed plague-stricken persons. He founded a bank to help the poor, offering an alternative to loan sharks. This bank later became the Bank of Naples. With the help of future Pope Paul IV and two others, he formed the Congregation of Clerks Regular, known as the Theatines, on May 3, 1524. Its members devoted themselves to preaching, administering the sacraments, and carefully performing the Church's rites and ceremonies. Saint Cargitan was the first to introduce the 40 Hours Adoration of the Blessed Sacrament as an antidote to the heresy of Calvinism. He was once scourged by Germans attempting to extort money from him, failing to understand that he had spent his worldly wealth on charity. Cargitan had a great devotion to the Blessed Virgin Mary. She once rewarded him by appearing to him and placing the infant Jesus in his arms. At his deathbed, the Virgin Mary came and consoled him. When he asked for her blessing, she said, Cargitan, receive the blessing of my son, and know that I am here as a reward for the sincerity of your love, and to lead you to paradise. She then asked the angels to lead Cargitan's soul to heaven. Let us emulate Saint Cargitan, for the Bible says, Therefore encourage one another and build each other up, just as in fact you are doing. 1 Thessalonians 5.11 Give, and it will be given to you. A good measure, pressed down, shaken together and running over, will be poured into your lap. For with the measure you use it will be measured to you. Luke 6.38 May God bless you. Please like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you, and God bless you.